Well, guys, uh, here we are again. I believe this is part seven of our uh, room renovation videos. Um, you know, we're getting down into the final stretch. Things are coming together, you know, very well. We uh, we painted the jam here, so the uh, trim is the same color as the jam, which basically wraps right around the wall. Um, I think that's, uh, you know, more, more visually, whatever you want to call it, pleasing or whatever than having, uh, you know, three colors right there, you know, that way it doesn't look so busy. But, uh, you know, we pulled the paint, um, we pulled the tape up off the wall here from around the moldings and stuff. So, uh, you know, without the tape on the wall, it really starts to make things look, uh, you know, look good. We've got a few areas that we need to do some touch-ups on, you know, stuff that's, uh, stuff that's got, got in, uh, nicked and stuff like that in, uh, you know, because we've had some stuff go on in the room, you know, as we've seen, you know, trimming down the door and stuff going in and out of here. So, uh, we got to do some touch-up paints and, uh, you know, a few areas like that. But, uh, yeah, we're pretty much in the last, uh, the last stages of this project. Then we'll probably swing down and pick up, uh, swing down to the hardware store and pick up some, uh, some plug-in covers and light switch covers and other, uh, I don't know, what do you want to call it, decorative type items. But guys, uh, you know, let's get at the touch-up paints and uh, we'll go from there. So guys, uh, just finished doing the touch-ups on, uh, you know, the walls here, some of the spots uh, that were nicked up and, you know, some of the spots that were, uh, you know, missed during the whole painting process. Um, just, uh, you know, waiting for the paint to dry and then we'll uh, slap the old door back, uh, back in the opening there. Because right now it's a little bit wet in there because we had to do some, uh, some touch-ups, of course. But guys, we'll probably uh, head on down to, uh, you know, the hardware store or whatever and, uh, see what we can find for, uh, you know, switch plates and decorative covers and stuff like that. So, uh, we'll check in later. Well, guys, just got back home from the old, uh, Home Depot. Of course, uh, couldn't do much filming in there. Um, so yeah, this is the, uh, one long 48 inch shelf that I'm going to mount, uh, on the one wall. And then uh, right here, these here are the corner shelves. There's two of them. I'm going to mount them, you know, in the uh, corners of the room, like there and there, right? And then that big guy right there on that wall where the other mark of tape is. While we were there, we picked up some little brushes for the, uh, you know, touch-ups and stuff like that. Uh, as well as uh, switch plate covers and uh, I don't know how good this is going to be but we got this handy dandy black and decker all in one laser level basically a suction cup this to the wall put the laser level on the little thingy and it turns red or green depends on uh, if it's level or not but uh, you know it was on clearance for like uh, $15 down from like 30 so, you know, I couldn't resist, of course. But yeah, the uh, corner shelving, of course, are going to go in each corner. And the big guy here is going to go up on this wall. And of course, it's 48 inches, so it'll, uh, I'll have to center it to make sure it doesn't hit when the closet door is open and things like that. Okay guys, so here we are again, part 7 of the room renovation uh, video. So uh, we're going to hang our uh, shelves up on the wall, so what I've done is I've marked out, so what I've done is, uh, so what we got here is uh, where we want the shelf marked out. This blue piece of tape in front of you here is roughly the you know, center-ish of the room. We got that all marked already and what I've done is uh, 
I've stuck the shelf bracket up here already and marked out the holes that I want to drill. Um, the camera's not going to pick up, but there's a hole roughly there. And then there's a couple more over here. I think that's one right there. But guys, we're going to drill them out. And uh, what we'll do is we'll put, uh, you know, using these uh, anchors in, basically uh, drive them into the wall, and then they kind of, you know, butterfly or whatever, if you will, out, and then that holds in your shelf. So basically the first step that I do anyway is I, I decide how thick the anchor is, and I drill it out, you know, to roughly the same size maybe a little bit smaller but anyways uh, and then you drive the anchor into the wall and when you tighten this screw basically it pulls this uh, part right here closer to the head which then causes these here to butterfly out which keeps it into the wall um, you know I have used ones like these in the past and I find that they're a little bit uh, awkward and sometimes they don't do the job they need to do. These, of course, were the hardware that was included in there, which are four plastic anchors. Um, you know, there's four wood screws, and of course the four screws that go with the plastic anchor. Now, when you're hanging one of these shelves, sometimes you'll get lucky and you'll hit a stud. Of course, in that case, just use the wood screw. But you know if it's you hit drywall then that's when you you should use the anchors because it will hold better so what I'll do guys is I'll throw you on the tripod here and then um, I'll get drilling okay guys so I'll start drilling out them holes of course you want to double check and make sure you got everything in the right spot before you drill and when once you're sure, then uh, go at it. Now, if you're not 100% sure whether you, um, you've hit a stud or not, one way to find out especially if you haven't sunk your drill all the way in is of course right here this is hollow same with this one here now when you stick your drill in here and it just goes in you know the drywall type of deal then chances are you've hit something solid behind it of course always be aware when you're drilling if uh, you know if you've hit electrical wires or anything like that But um, pretty much what we'll do now is we'll use the wood screw to hold that one hole on. And of course, uh, supplied in the kit are the anchors that, that um, you know, they want us to use, which I explained earlier are the plastic ones. But yeah, I've upgraded to these ones here, which are overkill, but they're something that I like to use. So, you know, if you drill the hole right, it'll be slightly smaller than what it needs to be. But you just gently drive the anchor in until it bottoms out like that. Do the same with the second one here. And then, yeah, we'll have to use a wood screw on the third one because, of course, we've hit a stud. So what I'll do guys is I'll back um, these screws here, I'll back them out of there, and then uh, we'll install the bracket onto the wall. Okay guys, so we're ready to uh, install the shelf. So yeah, I've already backed out the screws, you know, that we got to put in the anchor here. Now this is where you uh, get your foot first look at whether you've uh, drilled the holes correctly. And yeah, we're looking, uh, you know, within acceptable uh, parameters. So we'll put the two screws with the anchors in the wall. And then uh, we'll give them a tighten down. 
And of course, if you're going to use yourself a uh, power drill, you know, don't uh, torque them too tight. You can finish the torquing with, uh, you can finish the tightening with, uh, you know, by hand. Then that way you don't over tighten the uh, screws. So now we're running the one that uh, we have to put into the wooden stud. Pretty much uh, just like that. And just to make sure the shelf is on there okay, we'll take the, you know, your hand screwdriver and just finish driving the other ones in by hand. So once I've got them tightened, guys, I'll uh, check back in. Okay, guys, so I got the screws all tightened down to where, you know, they're sufficient. Of course, you don't want to over tighten them because sometimes you can bust the little um, butterfly, you know, wall anchor in it. So, yeah, we'll pull the you know, cardboard and plastic and such off of the shelf here. And I guess, uh, you know, if you will, this is the moment of truth. Now, of course, the shelf here has, uh, you know, corresponding holes in each end that correspond with uh, the little sticky outy thingies on the, you know, bracket. So pretty much you just slide her on there just like that. And there you have it. Um, and included in the kit are two little silver screws. They basically go right up into the bottom here, which uh, pretty much goes through the shelf and then into the, the metal part of the bracket itself, which pretty much keeps the bracket from falling off the wall, you know, keeps everything uh, on the wall. Because, you know, they got to make it safe and everything. They have to make sure everything's uh, up to their safety standards and all that good stuff. But yeah, guys, you know, this was a fairly uh, simple installation. It wasn't anything uh, too, too complicated or anything. So guys, I'll run these screws in and then I'll check back in later. Okay, guys, so shelf's all mounted on the wall there. Um, you know, done up the old, uh, I don't know, if you want to call them safety screws to keep them from falling off the wall. But yeah, when you look at it sideways here, I think it's leaning back slightly, you know, I think it's a built-in safety feature because the bracket is, um, you know, level with the wall and I think those little pokey outy thingies were on a bit of an angle. And I think that's just a bit of a feature they built in to keep your stuff from falling off the shelf. But yeah, if you look there, she's uh, basically spot on level. You know, about as good as she's going to get in this house. So guys, we got the big shelf installed on the wall. So now, uh, so now we're going to work on these uh, corner shelves right here. You know, they're, again, pretty much the same design. It'll have the little metal, you know, sticky outy thingies. So guys, uh, we'll get started on that and then I'll check back in. Okay guys, so we got the corner shelf over there hung as well as, you know, these two shelves here. One thing I will um, pass on to you guys with these corner shelves is of course if the corners aren't perfectly square you're gonna have um, I don't know, a bit of an issue. They will, you know, screw onto one shelf fairly decently, but you'll end up with a bit of a space on the other shelf, on the other side here, and as you can sort of see here. Now, if you shim out this other side here, you're going to have space between the walls. Now, I suppose you probably could split the difference and then put a fancy molding or something underneath to kind of, you know, pretty it up to hide the, the space. But what I'm going to do here is um, get a little bit of um, some kind of a molding or kind of a piece of a scroll work type decoration to put underneath the corner just to give it a bit of, you know, support, if you will. But guys, we're going to work on this door now. I'm going to pop it here off the hinges and then we'll take her outside. Um, 
pretty much, uh, you know, over the years, these hinges have been painted several times, and sometimes they're hard to get off. Basically, uh, what I'm going to want to do is run a screwdriver in between this head of this pin and the base here, the hinge, and try to pop it off. So what I'll do is I'll drop you on the tripod here and um, let you see the action. So basically, as I said, you take your screwdriver here, find the little seam between the head and the hinge, and you kind of just gently drive the pin out of the uh, hinge. By doing that, of course, you're separating the half of the hinge that's on the jam from the hinge that's on the door and basically just like that your door is removed so guys basically the door is off now um, I'm gonna take it outside here and uh, start working on it okay guys so we have the door outside now um, since I don't have a plane or anything to take a little bit off this door what I'm going to use is, of course, the belt sander. Now, one of the drawbacks of the belt sander is it's a little bit uh, rough and harsh, but I guess that's okay. So I'm going to throw you on the tripod here, guys, and uh, see how it goes. guys basically once you've got her uh, where you figure she should be then I'll run her back in and uh, we'll give her a chest fit and see how it goes okay guys so as you've seen earlier we were outside uh, giving it a sand with a belt sander you know we probably took down a good uh, I don't know probably eighth of an inch just on the guesstimate here um, pretty much, uh, you know, one of the downsides with a belt sander is you can take too much off and then, you know, you kind of have an issue, but if you don't have a planer and you don't feel like hand sanding it, a belt sander does work. It's a bit aggressive, but it does work. So basically what we're going to do now is give her a test fit to see if it's, um, you know, sanded enough. Okay, moment of truth, guys. Let's uh, see how she opens. And yeah, it, uh, and there you go guys, you know, I, I probably shaved off here, as you can see the, you know, angle wise, right, it's probably about a sixteenth or so. And um, she closes fairly well now. The striker needs to be adjusted for the, the latch. But other than that, uh, she's pretty good. But guys, um, you know, we uh, pop the hinges off this door to do the painting around the jam. So I'll slap that door back on and uh, we'll be pretty much good to go. Okay guys, so just to look around for you, I guess you could call this finished project, pretty much. Um, you know, there's a couple more areas here just around the closet um, door jam that we're going to do a touch up on. But other than that, uh, we have everything, you know, everything where she pretty much needs to be. Uh, we haven't decided on the color yet for that grate there. You see the grate here on the floor. It's meant to cover that hole there. We haven't quite decided on a color for that yet, so we'll leave that till a little bit later. But we have all the trim all done. We got the, you know, decorative um, shelving and stuff up. Uh, pretty much, uh, we're just doing a final clean on this room, and then she'll be uh, good to go. But um, you know, as I said, uh, we'll just do a bit of a cleanup around those uh, door jams with some more paint and then she'll be good but I think she turned out uh, you know reasonable but guys um, I guess you could call this you know pretty much finished project for the room rental 
So as always, thank you for watching Maxwell's World. Comment, subscribe, and enjoy.